Making his stand-up debut at 89 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chuck Esterly. Everybody here at the comedy club has been very nice to me, you know, an old new guy, I guess you'd say. And uh, uh, the manager, he wished me well, and he said, don't die up there. <laughs> I think he was talking about my jokes. <laughs> when I left the home tonight, my wife said, break a leg. The manager said, break a hip. I guess you're wondering why a guy would get up here at my age and make a fool of himself, but I think it's because I'd like to prove to you and to myself that just because you get old, you don't have to have, stop having fun and surprising things happen every day. Take for instance, last summer, I was working out in the yard and across the street I saw this gorgeous young widow start coming over toward me. She came up, looked me right in the eye, and she said, I know your wife is out of town, and I'm feeling a little horny. <laughs> and I would like to have a few drinks and some wild sex. Are you busy tonight? And I said, uh, no. <laughs> and she said, great, would you mind watching my dog? movie together. And, and as I think back on it, it's probably a good thing that I didn't get together with a widow. Because I might have been charged with assault with a dead weapon. Oh! And, and speaking of that, I, uh, I got scammed on eBay. I paid $150 for a penis enlarger, and they sent me a magnifying glass. <laughs> you know, old guys, old people think about death once in a while. That's no, I'm no exception. In fact, I called my uh, family together a few months ago, sat them down, and I said, in no way do I want to live in a vegetative state, kept alive by a machine and fed liquid from a bottle. If that happens, pull the plug. They got up, pulled the plug on my computer and threw away my wine. But I'm going to get back at them because I know what my last words are going to be. Picture, everybody gathered around the hospital bed, and I, in my last breath, I croak out, I hid a million dollars <laughs> under the... Uh, <laughs> People wonder what old folks do with their time. Actually, I have a chemical engineering background, so I spend a lot of time converting beer, wine, and liquor into urine. <laughs> you know, uh, I cook with wine quite a bit. Sometimes I even add it to the food. I mean, uh, you know, you change your mind when you older. I have done something just recently. I stopped calling the bathroom the John. And I renamed it the gym. Because I feel much better saying, I went to the gym this morning. But it sort of backfired, uh, you know, if I have to say, I went to the gym five times last night. <laughs> Oh, I'm filling my days.
one thing I like to do is park the car near the near a speed zone, climb down the driver's side window, put on my sunglasses, and put my wife's hair dryer dryer out the window and follow cars. They slow down, just it's impossible to believe. And I've changed my car horn to sound like gunshots. People get out of the way. I try to learn something new every day. You probably don't realize that. Life is sexually transmitted. If your parents did not have children, chances are you won't either. <laughs> and donkeys, donkeys, mind you, kill more people annually than airplane crashes. So, watch your ass. <laughs> I think everybody should have a motto. I have a friend who likes to take photographs of birds and uh, he builds bird houses and things like that. So here, of course, is a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. My motto is, a breast in the hand is worth two in the bra. <laughs> now that's about all the time that I'm going to have to say. Thing. I, kids gave it to me for Christmas and I still don't know how <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi. Tonight? Gee, I... Okay. Bring the dog over about a while. <laughs> I think there's a Rin Tin Tin movie on <laughs> I have no idea how this next guy could even possibly follow that. <laughs>